The St. Louis Mayor's Office confirms that the state of Missouri is auditing the streets division, including the city's tow lot. It comes almost a year after our I-team began investigating claims of missing cars and missing money at that facility. Since then, a committee of aldermen also began looking into the lot and criminal charges could be issued against those involved. Investigative reporter PJ Rundawa tells us why one city leader says the tow lot is ripping off St. Louisans. Get enough tickets, have your car stolen, or get into a bad enough accident, and your vehicle could end up in the St. Louis City tow lot. I've had people call me and say, Joe, my car's been in that tow lot forever, and the tow lot says the car's never been there. And what we're finding out is it's pretty bad. For the past several months, a special committee of aldermen, including Ward 23's Joe Vaccaro, have been looking into allegations that tow lot employees made up their own rules and skimmed money off the sale of impounded vehicles. I believe there was 40 cars that they couldn't account for. They just vanished. And that makes you say, hmm. 625, 625. One of the committee's biggest findings is that the tow lot is keeping money from vehicle auctions that doesn't belong to them. According to the committee, when a vehicle is auctioned for unpaid fees, the surplus of that amount is supposed to go back to the vehicle owner. Does that mean after we auction that vehicle off that these people don't get notified that their vehicle has been auctioned and there is a, a possible surplus from that auction that they could come and pick up? We do not. Uh, we just make the deposit. And that sounds like a policy we probably need to change. It absolutely should be going back to the owner because if we've recouped our fees or what it cost us, then that money belongs to the owner of that vehicle. So that's interesting that we don't have a procedure except for to just send it over to some unknown account in the uh, treasurer's office. Over the past year, the I-Team exposed how the tow lot doesn't have a rule book. People who had their vehicles stolen had to pay hundreds of dollars to get them back. And when they couldn't afford those fees or didn't have an ever-changing list of paperwork, their vehicles were auctioned off and they were left with nothing. I'm a single mom of three boys, and that was the only vehicle I had. Your investigation has prompted this. Your persistence in it is making sure it's an ongoing investigation. At the end of this investigation, certainly there could be criminal charges. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, five on your side. The committee's investigation is expected to last at least two more months, and so far they've had at least 10 tow lot employees testify. They also now have the power to subpoena witnesses if necessary.